So g'day, my name is Quinn. I'm from Jobaroo, and today I'm super excited to have with me Dean Myers. She's from Sponsored Jobs in Australia, and she uh, owns that website. It's basically a collection of uh, over a thousand jobs um, and a whole bunch of tools to really help you to get uh, sponsored in Australia. And she's also an author and a coach, and basically the number one person to speak to in Australia about getting sponsored and and so I'm really grateful to have her on and uh, we're going to just quickly go into what really are some of the key things that you need to be doing to get sponsored. Um, so welcome Nadine, great to have you. Thanks Quinn, good to be here. Yeah, so Nadine, getting sponsored in Australia uh, can be a really frustrating process and can seem, you know, quite complex and, you know, people really just don't know what to do, you know, what to do first and how to go about it. Um, but I, I know, I also know, having worked with you, you know, for several years now, that if uh, people just know a few little tips and tricks that they can, they're just miles ahead of the game. And I, I wanted to jump in and just find out what those are from you. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of things that can help someone have more success when they apply for sponsorship in Australia. And um, there's probably a few things that are more important than others, definitely. What would be the top three things that somebody should know that would be really helpful for them? Okay, well, um, the top three things, are, so I'll start with the number one Um thing in my opinion that makes someone more successful and that's their attitude and I know uh, some people might think oh you know that's not a good tip but really I'm telling you that of all the people that I've worked with in the past uh, the ones with the positive attitude and the resilience and the willingness to do what it takes are the ones that actually have success and that comes ahead of what their experience and qualifications are. I mean, obviously, they, they qualify for sponsorship, but they're not necessarily someone who has 10 years and extensive qualifications. So the number one is definitely the attitude. Um, so if um, I know it's really, really challenging to find a sponsored job in Australia and... Um, yeah, if you if you just have the determination to succeed and to stay positive no matter how many knockbacks you get and just stay on course and um, keep at it, knowing that eventually you'll knock on the right door and it will open, then you'll definitely have more success than anyone else because a lot of people give up um, because they just find it too hard and they think, well, I haven't had any positive um, responses so far so it must be useless but if they just keep at it and really and stay positive and just keep trying they'll eventually get there. Uh, number two would be your CV or resume. Uh, the reason this is so important is because this is your first or the, anyone's first chance to make an impression on an employer or recruiter and the thing to keep in mind is that Recruiters and hiring managers have to look at a hundred and sometimes more CVs every day. So they end up um, finding a way to make quick decisions and they'll usually make a decision within a few seconds of looking at a CV. So if your CV doesn't hit the spot within a few seconds, likely you won't get invited for an interview. So it really is so important. And I know um, around the world, CVs are different in different countries. For example, Canada and the US have a one-page resume and um, it's, it's so short and to the point and that's enough for them. Whereas in Australia, um, employers want a bit more information because you have to really sell why you're the person for the job. And if your CV is too short, then you're not going to do a very good job at selling that. So that's why number two is very important. So I do recommend that even though it can be a little bit pricey, but it really is worthwhile getting your resume professionally written. 
Um, so that's number two. So the third most important thing would be to use the hidden job market and to really leverage your networks. So most people these days know that the hidden job market are all those jobs that aren't being advertised. And some people estimate that there's up to 90% of jobs in that category, which is a huge amount. So what you're seeing on the job search websites is such a small number of jobs that are actually available. So using the hidden job market uh, will open up opportunities to you. And you can do that by using tools such as LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is such an important tool for job search for anyone, but for employee sponsorship, it has had awesome results for clients of mine. Um, a lot of my clients have had more success using LinkedIn, than, sorry, than um, applying directly for jobs that are on, that are advertised on the job search website. So um, again, with LinkedIn, like your CV, you really have to present yourself well, and you also have to know how to um, how to network on there, how to use it to your advantage, and um, yeah, and and just to be, just yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to explain in a nutshell how to use LinkedIn because it it is complex. But if you're on there and you're seeking out companies that might potentially be a good company to work for, then you can approach employers directly through LinkedIn and you'll have the opportunity to connect directly with the decision makers, which is why it's so powerful. So they're the top three in my book. And um, I hope that that's useful. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks so much. And yeah, I just also wanted to let people know uh, if they uh, click on the link below this video, they'll get taken through to um, sponsored jobs in Australia website, which um, has a couple of different membership options um, and contains a lot of the help that they need um, to, to really get them a kickstart in, in each of those three areas. For example, there's um, you can actually get uh, an ebook that helps them with the LinkedIn strategy that you wrote, Nadine. Um, there's templates to write their CV uh, and there's even uh, jobs which um, you maintain a, a database of the, um, the jobs that, that are of employers that are actively looking for people that are uh, you know looking to get sponsored here in Australia so um, really um, really valuable information that, that everyone should um, who's serious about trying to get sponsored in Australia, um, I think can can really use. Um, so yeah, great to have you Nadine and, and thanks so much for, for being with us and um, letting us know what you uh, what you believe the best, um, some of the things are the best helpful to, to someone getting sponsored in Australia. Okay, yeah, thanks Quinn. Um, yeah, the website sponsorjobsinaustralia.com, um, as Quinn said, the link's under the video. And uh, there's two levels of membership and both will be really useful for anyone seeking a job in Australia, but the serious job seeker membership will include so much more to help you with your job search so that you can tap into the hidden job market. So you can improve your CV and make the best impression. So um, that's my recommendation would be the Serious Job Seeker membership for those who are serious about finding a sponsored job in Australia. Awesome. Thanks, Nadine. Thanks very much for having me, Quinn. It's been great to be here and I really hope that these tips are useful for um, people who are looking to find sponsorship in Australia. Definitely. Thanks, Nadine.